guys this is Adel Ali Askari I'm a project management trainer and consultant and in this video I'm going to talk about transferring data from Primavera P6 to Microsoft Excel I already opened a Primavera P6 file and I set the required columns or fields in my layout the columns including for example the start finish baseline start and finish and actual start and finish and I'm going to update my project by transferring the data to Excel and do the change and update the information in Excel and revert back or revert back or recall the information from Excel to Primavera P6. Uh, updating the project means reflecting the reality or what is happening in the real situation of the project to time schedule and by comparison between the current status with the planned status or baseline, we will find the deviations. The deviations may be in the uh, topic of the time that we call them delay or in the topic of the cost that we call them over budget or etc. Anyway, for any reasons, you may need to transfer the data and do not do the updating manually here in P6 and rather than work on the Microsoft Excel file. The reason can be like this. Uh, the people or the teams or the group of the people who are working actually in the activities is not equipped with the Primavera P6 uh, or they are not expert enough in Primavera P6 then they may request you to provide them a Microsoft Excel to put the information and they will send you the updated information in Microsoft Excel the second reason can be like this for example uh, your hands are more free in Microsoft Excel rather than the Primavera P6 you know that we have lots of the tools, functions, and formula in Microsoft Excel that is not available in Primavera P6. Then we are more accustomed and more easy to work on Microsoft Excel and after that send back the information here in Primavera P6. For any reason, I want to transfer the current layout or sort of the columns from Primavera P6 to Microsoft Excel. The easiest way and the first option for transferring the data is to right click somewhere here in my plan and press it with the export to excel option if you click on this command there is uh, only a request to uh, set a file in somewhere in your machine and put an appropriate name for your file for example let me call it as se1 and save it in my desktop just click on ok and after that i will have a file with the name of the se1 you can see it here in my desktop if i open this file i will see all the columns or fields in my view transferred to excel and waiting for me to update them uh, please pay attention the first note is that the columns of the status code wbs id and task code will transfer in all transferring regardless you put them in your view or not because when the primavera p6 wants to recall or get the information from excel use these three columns as a reference then regardless you already put them in your p6 or not they will transfer automatically in all experts the second note is that if you refer to the second row of excel and look at the caption of the fields or the name of the fields you can see some fields start with the symbol of a star we have this situation here in a start field in finish field in budget in total flow and etc and you can see lots of the fields start with the symbol of a star it's very important for project planner to be care about the star including fields what it names the columns or the fields that start with the symbol of a star means that their change will not revert back or reflect in primavera p6 and you cannot put the information here and expect to see the transferring data and the change in primavera p6 in other words the star fields is the calculated fields in primavera p6 and you cannot update them here in microsoft excel your change will not reflect back in primavera p6 uh, the reason is that for example look at the start and finish columns how the start and finish columns calculated the start and finish is calculated based on the network of the activities that already set in p6 their duration and the CPM or critical pass load calculation then those are the calculated fields based on a logic that is not available in Microsoft Excel then you cannot update the information here and expect to see the change in Primavera P6 then as a result 
the project planners or the people who are going to work on this Microsoft Excel only change the fields that is not including the star in their caption. The fields, for example, of actual start and actual finish, as you can see here, doesn't include the start, and you can put them manually here. And after that, you can save it and revert back the information to uh, Primavera P6. How we can get the information back to Primavera P6? Let me back to the Primavera P6. To get the information, you have to approach the file menu and proceed with the uh, import option. Import means you are getting the information out of the application and you want to import them to Primavera P6. The different uh, format is available and one of them is XLSX, the extension of the Excel file. And you can continue the wizard, address the file that you already updated, for example, SE1, and finishing the wizard by getting the information in those export file. The second way of the exporting the, uh, the data from P6 to Microsoft Excel is to approach the export option in the file menu and press it with the export. In this scenario, you can have more information and more uh, options to set the template for your export. And also you can set the uh, data or sheets or tabs that you will need to see in the Excel sheet. Uh, the activities, expense, resources, and other ones is available here to choose and if you choose these tabs you will see their information in the different sheets or different tabs in your exported file in Microsoft Excel let me finish the wizard to see what it means in the next step of the wizard you can see the list of the open project in my P6 and you have to choose out of them the only open project is SE2 and I have to opt the SE2 as a selected project to export and here you can create a template or the sort out or layout of the columns that you need in your uh, export file. By click on the modify or click on add, I can add a new template. Let me modify the current one. Click on modify. You have, can see the subject area based on the selected subject area in the previous step. If you remember, I choose the two options of the resource assignment and resources in the previous steps. And I will set the required information in each tab by the options here. The left one is the available columns and the right one is the showing columns or the columns that you will see in your result. You can choose easily by the by selecting any columns and click on add to add them to your current view. And you can do the same option for the next tab or next subject area for resources. Anyway, let me keep it simple and click on OK, continue the wizard and just finish the wizard here by addressing the file somewhere in my machine let me just set it as the se3 the different name with the previous one i already had the st2 then finish the wizard by clicking on finish and the new file of the se3 added to my desktop if i open the file you can see the different tabs of the uh, activity resources sorry the project resources and also the project uh, expenses if i not made a mistake uh, anyway you can see that the, 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 the data and the field is set in the different tabs or different sheets of the microsoft excel you can do the same things updating the information and you can do the change and be careful about the star included fields you cannot update them here and reflect back and expect to see the results in microsoft excel only available in Primavera P6 to update these fields by changing the attribute of the activities there. Anyway, that was the how we can transfer the data by two ways from Primavera P6 to Microsoft Excel. I hope you find this video useful and if you, uh, you, if you find it useful, I would request to subscribe and share the video with others. Thank you very much.